And welcome once again dito po sa Rotary Gymnasium, Tagum City, Davao del Norte. At maraming salamat po sa iyong pagsubaybay sa ating live stream dito sa Facebook at YouTube channels ng J Project Basketball. And this is the continuing coverage of J Project 21 Under Basketball Cup 2023. So this is our final game of the triple header tonight dito po sa Tagum City, right at the heart of Davao del Norte. So ako po si Ray Alonsage, ug kauban na ako si Ron Japet Mena. So Ron, ito na po, ito na ating last game for tonight. Yes, it, that's correct, uh, Kuya Ray. So these two teams battling it out are two teams, top one, oh. the two of the top, top teams in Davao City, Brokenshire versus Holy Cross. Kilalang kilala sa mga inter-school competitions at now magbabanggaan sila dito sa Tagum City Rotary Gymnasium. At ito na po ang ating game story for tonight. Bawat panalo makabulan. So, ang Holy Cross of Davao College Crusaders kontra sa Broken Shire College of Davao uh, servants. So, both teams are looking for an all-important win if they want to move on into the next round, uh, Ron. So, this will be a... Uh, Exciting matchup for this uh, ball game tonight. The title speaks for itself. Bawat panalo makabuluhan. Both of the teams are trying to secure a better slot coming going on to this tournament. Ang dalawang team na ito gusto makakuha ng slot para sa semi sa quarterfinals and have that advantage over the lower seeded teams. So kailangan talaga na bawat panalo, bawat laban ng dalawang to ay oh. Makabuluhan talaga, talagang importante pa sa kanilang mga buhay. Okay, so itong uh, Broken Shire College Servants with a 3-1 and one record. Samantala, ang Holy Cross of Davao College uh, Crusaders, 1-2 and two ang kanilang record so far dito sa Bracket B. So ito ating uh, team standing so far sa Bracket D. So, uh, number two seed sa ngayon ang uh, Broken Shire College of Davao Servants. Samantala, nasa number five seed ang Holy Cross of Davao. Mm -hmm. But that number five seed doesn't speak a lot for Holy Cross because we know the quality that they possess. They know that they'll fight for their lives. And ang kanilang, you know, they have the size, they have the length, they have the athleticism that it takes to win this ball game. All right, so let's turn over to our venue announcer, Mr. Ronald Mena, for the for the starters of the ball game sa pagita ng Holy Cross at Brokenshire. All right, good evening once again, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to our third and final game for today, July one. Araw ng Davao del Norte and J Project Basketball Cup 21 Under Season 2 proudly present to you the matchup for the final games of tonight. Presenting to you the Brokenshire College of Davao Servants going up against Holy Cross of Davao College. Crusaders and now let's meet the starters of the ball game proudly present to you by the J Project Lothing Shop of Mr. Vicente P. Linogun Jr. First off the Broken Shark College of Davao Servants wearing jersey number four Aljun Artel Wearing jersey number 8 Ryan Evangelista Wearing jersey number 10 Michael Pearson Wearing jersey number 18 Kobe Yawan and wearing jersey number 13 Joshua Bargayo and now let's meet the starters of Holy Cross of Davao College Crusaders Wearing jersey number five, Julex Candili. Wearing 
jersey number 12, DJ Gamboa. Wearing jersey number 14, Gary Lyagen. Wearing jersey number 23, Steven Diles. And wearing jersey number 24, Carion. Head coach of Brokenshire College of Davao Servants, Arnolfo Rojas, assisted by Rodney Boslot, the United Church of Christ of the Philippines. Ah, ito po ating starters of the ball game for the Brokenshire of Davao Servants. We have Artil, Evangelista, Pearson, Bargayo at Kiawan. Samantala ang Holy Cross of Davao College Crusaders. Ang starters ngayon, Jolex Pandili. Uh, DJ Gamboa, Layagin, Deles, at Carion. So two teams are looking for uh, jockeying for positions heading into the next round into the playoffs. Yes, as we now approach the tip-off in this ballgame, Carion na dulas to start the ballgame. Medyo slippery ata ang basketball court ngayon kasi grabe ang mm -hmm. intensity from the previous game. Uh, sa pagitan ng uh, breakthrough basketball mm -hmm. at ng uh, JIT insurance. Parang hindi pa nawala yung spirit from the last game. Oh. Dikdikan pa rin to start this ball game. Okay, so we're underway as Kobe Kiyawan, Bintis Intira. Pearson, no good. Here comes DJ Gamboa on the push. So Holy Cross oh, looking to run to start the ball game. Minti Sintira mula kang pandili. Itong Broken Shire coming off a win from their previous outing against JIT nga. That one point win against JIT is big one for Broken Shire. At Minti Sintira mula kang Bargayo. Layagin. Pandili looking to swing to the basketball. Karyon. Balik kang Garil Layagin for three. Short. And rebound secured by the Green Shirts led by head coach. Arnulfo Rojas. Yes, Coach Coach Rojas, a veteran on the basketball scene. He's been coaching all the way over his life. As Artil open. Oy, minti si Tira. Medyo makapos yung mga Tira nila so far in this first quarter. Parang hindi pa nakaka-move on from the previous game. Oo. Oh. Talagang may, may rust pa, pa from the previous one. And now, Broken Shire on the run. And there's the first basket of the ball game. Evangelista. Mula kang, that's right, Ryan Evangelista. Yes, Evangelista, the big man running the trailer on the transition. And good recognition from Artil giving him the ball and securing the two. So Holy Cross looking for a good offensive play. Oh, it's stolen. Here comes Kobe Kiyawan all the way for two. And great hands by Kobe Kiyawan to intercept the basketball and leading to an open lane, extending the lead to four. Okay, sa ating mga basketball fans dyan, uh, don't forget to follow our Facebook page at J Project Basketball. And you can also subscribe to our YouTube channel at J Project Basketball. At meron po tayong uh, uh, Instagram at J Project. So you can follow our social media pages sa J Project Basketball. So once again, ako po si Ray Alonsagay. Kasama ko po si Ron Japet Mena. So uh, it's going to be... Uh, yes. Another thrilling ball game dito sa ating last game sa ating uh, triple header tonight. Finally, we're down to the last game for this evening. Pero may mga games pa rin tayo tomorrow. Another three, another set of game. Tatlong games na naman. Ang uh, ma masasaksihan natin bukas. Uh, Tron Carion ay pasok yung first field goal of the ball game para sa Crusaders na Holy Cross of Davao led by their veteran coach Cholo Elihino. Yes. Pearson from the outside, Mintis. And rebound secured by Garl Layagin. So, siya na magdadala sa bola dito. Para kang Coach Cholo. Almost lost it. Babalik ang Deles. Bibigay kang iya Layagin. And Ito. there's a bump and a foul against Brokenshire. Itong Holy Cross, they are the much bigger team. Pero bago yan, we have the power move of the quarter. Hatid sa inyo ng J Project Clothing. Makers of quality uniform. So, uh, good hustle play there. Wala kang Ron Carlos. Able to hit the first field goal of the ball game para sa Crusaders ng Holy Cross. So, bibigay kang Jolex Pandili, one of the key contributors for Coach Cholo. Trying to go on the entry pass, pero, uh, pero I was intercepted. 
Broken Shire on the push. Oh, what a almost a that was a block Bandili, by Bandili. Yes, that was skying high for the block. And you know, looking at to the start of this ball game, Broken Shire up and pushing the pace against this much bigger Holy Cross team. They're taking advantage of their speed advantage and looking at them having the two point advantage to start this ball game. Si tung laro na ito parang tagisa ng bilis ano sa bagita ng dalawang teams, right? But I I guess. Uh, Broken Shire has the speed advantage to this ball game, and look at okay. that! Just like that, Barangayo, so basket and a foul. And look at the heads-up play coming from Aljun Artil. So this team, ng, uh, sige, team ng, uh, Broken Shire, they're trying to go up tempo. So trying to push the pace here to start the ball game. So it's now a six to two start. For the green shirts of Broken Shire College servants. So Bargaya will try to complete the uh, three point play. And Steven Dela secures the board for Holy Cross. So we begin kang uh, DJ Gamboa, Dan James Gamboa. Mm -hmm. And six minutes and ten. Carion, Candili. And look at the defense of Broken Shire scrambling. And really collecting where the ball go goes. And, and ball will stay with Holy Cross. So and four minutes gone by to starting uh, first quarter so far. And Kuyare, slow start for both of the teams. Right here, we're, we're approaching ha the halfway point of uh, this quarter. Pero 6-2 to two pa rin ang ating score. Hindi sintira, malakang layagin. Deles gets it back. Carion attacks. And he was fouled. He'll shoot two. You know, it's either that both teams are having a rusty start. Or, yeah. As we take a look at the power dime of the quarter Brought to you by Torre Franca Banana Trading Great hustle Great fast break play Leading to an easy basket for Joshua Bargallo Yes, back to my point Slow start for both of the teams It's either that the, both of the teams are having a difficult start A rough start, a rusty start to say the least Or that both of the teams are playing hard and rugged defense To start this ball game so at the line is Ron Carrion who hit the first field goal of the ball game para sa Holy Cross led by head coach Cholo Elihino. So he has all the three points so far for Holy Cross sa simula ng ating laro. Minti sim pangalawa. And uh, rebound secured by Aljim Altil. So Artil has it. Contra kang RG, uh, Ron uh, Carrion. Oh, what a move inside. Sets it up. Mitisintira mula kang Evangelista. Yes. That was a good set up by Sulivel to Evangelista. But Evangelista, yeah, he was saying sorry. He missed uh, that shot. Could have, been, could have make it either way. Ito, si Ron Carrion gusto ataki sa loob using his left hand for two. Beautiful pick provided by the big man, Layagin, creating the space for Carrion to drive towards the basket. And oh. Yeah, na, nakalibre doon si Carion for all of his five points for Holy Cross. Carion doing the carry for Holy Cross right here. Wow! Mitis lang yung tira. That was great footwork though. Yes. Three it, on two. And, uh, nice fast replay. Oy, mintis lang yung tira ni uh, Carion. Ito si Solibel. Bibigay. Bargayo. No good. Yes, ito, ito si Joshua Bargayo. He was the player of the game last outing. For Broken Shire, really can do it all for his team. A heavy contributor for the guys in green. And there's another player able to score the first field goal. That's Steven Deles, mm. Molas Holy Cross. Outside of Carion, finally someone on the board for HCDC. And now they're up by one with 4 and 18 left. So, nasa kamay ni Planas para sa Broken Shire. Fires from the free throw line. Oi, medyo kapos yung tira. Ron Carion on the push. Here comes Gamboa. Bibigay kang Deles from the baseline. Layagin with the rebound. Minti Sintira. And ball now in the hands of Brokenshire. Good stop para sa Brokenshire despite that offensive rebound given up for the big man ng HCDC. So 7-6 to six is the score for Holy Cross. And intercepted. Here comes Carion. One-on-one. -on -one, skying toward the layup once again. Grabe ang batang to eh. To si Carion, napakagaling, napaka-athletic and not uh, afraid to drive towards the lane, extending his arms right there. 
to get the two. Oy, napakalayong tres, Mintis. So, Ron Carion with, uh, with seven of the nine points yes. for Holy Cross. Hot start para dito sa left-handed player ng HCDC. Jolix Pandili. Oh, Jolix Pandili. Mintis yung tira. Pandili. Uh, nasa kay Mayo ni Sullivan on a quick pull-up. Mintis. And a rebound now secured by Layagin. Ragged start for both of the teams with three, minute, three minutes left. Low scoring affair. Oh, oh. Paradito. Medyo mapababa ang scoring uh, sa pagitan ng dalawang teams. Ano? Pandili spins away. And loose ball secured by Layagin. Deles power move. At uh, may foul against Brokenshire. Evident ang size advantage ng Holy Cross dito. As we take a look at the power move of the quarter brought to you by J Project Clothing Shop. As Ron Carion skying high for two of his seven points to start the ball game. So we'll take a short break at bababali po kami. J Project Clothing Shop has been a sublimation company for a long time. We have evolved by proving quality and top-notch products for our customers. The design jerseys are carefully examined and printed in a quality machine that produces a fast printing, the biggest machine in the printing industry. In the sewing section, all the sewing experts use quality tread, needles and machine to make the product good-looking and durable. We customize clothing and sportswear in full sublimation. What are you waiting? Visit us now. And 2 minutes and 46 left here in the first period as you're watching the J Project Basketball Cup 21 under season 2 at its senyon and J Project Clothing. City Government of Tagum, the City Sports Development Office, Torifranca Banana Trading, Star Print Graphics, at Mr. June Flores. At uh, pasalamatan natin yung mga tao behind this, uh, this mm -hmm. tournament also. Yes, we would like to thank our league commissioner, Coach Alden Biboy Dumalagan, for ensuring the rules, regulation, and the peace and safety of our tournament. Also to our City Sports Development Office head, uh, Mr. Dante Carriaga, who have been hands-on in helping us secure our venue. And uh, of course, this tournament would not be possible without the director of the J Project Clothing and J Project Basketball, Mr. Vicente Linugun Jr. So to, so to Sir June, who's surely watching this ball game. Happy watching and God bless po, Sir June, on your support and endeavors to this grassroots program. All right, maraming, maraming, maraming salamat po sa ating mga, uh, sa ating mga, sa mga tao behind the J Project mm -hmm. 21 Under Basketball Cup. Mabuhay po kayo. Yes, mabuhay. Sa lahat din ang nanonood sa ating live stream, happy viewing and happy watching po sa inyo. Continue to watch and comment down your shoutouts para mabasa namin if we have time. Oh, that was a solid block from Holy Cross. And that's from number 31, Nebria. Pandili, skip pass to the corner. Dur serving the baseline. Babalik ang Pandili on the turnaround fadeaway. Oy, Poor start tira. here. For Jonix Pandili, forcing a lot of shots and a lot of contested layups para kay Jonix Pandili. He needs to adjust some of his aggressive moves, movement in this so, ball game. So, the tawag ng foul against uh, Jonix Pandili. Ito, so, ito, napansin ko sa Broken Shire. Ah. Um, even though they have that uh, size disadvantage, they were able to utilize their quickness and yes. their defensive smarts also mm -hmm. throughout this ball game, di ba? Basic basketball yan. One of the basic rules of basketball, if you knew, if you know that your opponents are much bigger, you can utilize your size advantage to run up and down the floor. And that's what Ho Brokenshire have been doing to limit the capacity of Holy Cross. And that time, they get the offensive rebound for two. And they pass the tira, mula kang Ryan Evangelista off the missed free throw, able to get the uh, offensive rebound put back. Yes, exactly. Evident ang size advantage ng Holy Cross dito and Brokenshire doing some good job to contain them but this time talagang Holy Cross talaga ang bola. And finally, Mikawa with a floater gets it to go for two. So ito yung first field goal. Mula kang Ikaru Mikawa para sa Holy Cross. Ibang ilista against Samuncino. Tira Mintis. There's the offensive rebound, and the shot is good for Brokenshire once again. What a powerful move by Demoral 
on that play. Dalawa na yung nakapayong sa kanya. Still making it on the rim. Talagang that was pure power and pure skill para dito kay Demoral. So mayroon po tayong 40 seconds to play dito sa ating first quarter. Doug Pin on the hesitation. Driving outside. Oy! There's a, uh, a whistle here and a foul. Mm. Judy foul to stop the fast break. Para dito sa Broken Shire. So that's uh, number zero of Holy Cross. We are approaching the last seconds of the first period. Taking a look at Coach Rojas on your screens. Arnolfo Rojas leading the charge for the guys in green. So a very low scoring affair sa pagita ng dalawang teams. So Olivelle almost lost it but recovered by uh, mm -hmm. uh, Drokenshire. Demoral on the knockout play. Basket counts and a foul. Demoral making big, big impact. You know, Demoral, he's, if he's not the best player, one of the best players, if not the best player available for, for Brokenshire. And last season, he also played for the same team and really making an impact. A lot of positive upsides para dito sa batang ito. Can do it all around the floor. So Kelly Demoral able to see, uh, complete the three-point play. So 13 seconds na lang titira sa ating first quarter. Tahado with eight seconds. Samuncino, Dagpin with down to five, down to four. Eight seconds. Oh, Tahado gets the basket and a foul. And he has the chance for the three-point play. Mola kang Tahado. Mm -hmm. as, what, as you've noticed, as what we've noticed, to end this uh, quarter, both teams ending it strong with a with an exclamation point. And now they're starting to pick up their pace, their momentum, their rhythm. And we'll see in the following quarters if how are they going to sustain this uh, run for both of them. Okay, four tenths of a second remaining. There's the heave. Brindoliantes. And basket will not count as the shot was made after the buzzer. So a very tight race sa pagita ng both teams as we have a very low scoring affair in this ball game. As we take a look at the first quarter highlights brought to you by J Project Loading Shop. Quality performance, quality uniform. So Ron Carion, a excellent production in the first quarter. At sa matalam Broken Shire College led by Ryan Evangelista with an impressive start in this ball game. So great. Uh, Great defensive plays uh, on, on on both ends sa pagitan ng dalawang teams. But uh, at the end of the first quarter, it's the Holy Cross of Davao College Crusaders. We one point lead 14 to 13 at the end of the first quarter. So a very tight ball game sa pagitan ng both teams. And we will take a short break. Magbabalik po kami. J Project Clothing Shop has been a sublimation company for a long time. J Project Clothing Shop has been a sublimation company for a long time. We have evolved by proving quality and top-notch products for our customers. The design jerseys are carefully examined and printed in a quality machine that produces a fast printing, the biggest machine in the printing industry. In the sewing section, all the sewing experts use quality tread, middles and machine to make the product good-looking and durable. We customize clothing and sportswear in full sublimation. What are you waiting? Visit us now. Eh, back to live action dito po sa Tagum City, Davao del Norte, dito po sa loob ng Rotary Gymnasium. So uh, once again, ako po si Ray Alonsagay, kasama ko po si Ron Japet Mena as we are about to start the second quarter. So we're underway for the Broken Shire College Servants. Planas, bibigay sa kanto, Eduliante. So subukan iikot ng bola dito ang uh, Broken Shire. Now Planas on the pull-up, Minti Sintira. And looks like uh, last touch by one of the green shirts. So broken. Uh, so Holy Cross will take possession here. So a very low scoring affair sa pagitan ng dalawang teams in this first quarter. Yes, Kuya Ray, low scoring affair. Both teams playing good defense. This is the old fashioned basketball that we know. Scoring low in the opening period. But I know that Halfway through in this ball game, both of the teams will pick up the pace just like that. Edoliantes with a tough one. That was a quick release. Mulakang uh, Andre Edoliantes. And that is his first field goal all the ball game. So, abante na ng isa ang um, Broken Shire College to make it 15 to 14. Dagpin on the quick pull up. 
Minti Sintira and there's the rebound put back. Mula kang Christian Nebria. Ito, makabawi kaya ang Broken Shar and it does. Mula kang Kelly De Moral. Yes, De Moral muscling his way through inside for that one. And now, a quick start for both of the teams. 3-4 to four scoring in here in the second period. And Medyo now they're starting to pick up their rhythm. Hindi sila yung tira mula kang Samuncino. Ito si Samuncino, one of the uh, big men, wingmen of Holy Cross. A player to watch also. Magaling to. Just Ibang need to Elisa. capitalize. That's right. Planas and he was bumped and fouled by Holy Cross. Great job by Planas. Si Planas, you know, you can call it, you can call him the dark horse of Brokenshire basketball can do it also from both of the sides para siyang uh, ano ano ba para siyang si Edsel Hanyo ng Brokenshire and he's an X factor for his team Oh Boy, tingnan mo yung galawan niya parang Edsel Hanyo nga oh. ng Brokenshire So Plana is able to muscle through inside for two So abante na po ng tatlo ang Brokenshire College of Davao Servants with two minutes gone by sa ating second quarter, Mikawa from way outside hits a three. Big shot by Hikaru Mikawa on that one. We know, ito si uh, Mikawa, he can, he's ambidextrous. He can shoot from the right, he can shoot from the left. You know, last season he played for the Teens 21. Now, now he shoot before was lefty. Ngayon, right-handed na siya. As we take a look at the three-point shot of the quarter brought to you by Starprint Graphics, Wala kang Ikaru Mikawa. That was a 24 foot. Wala kang Mikawa. From beyond the arc, itong si Mikawa. At siya na magdadala sa bola dito for Coach Solo. Bibigay kang Tahado. Swings it over to Doug Pin. Short na the three point attempt. Tahado gets it back. Uy! Muntik mawala ng bola doon. But uh, Mikawa recovers for Holy Cross. Shoots a three pointer. Short. And Planas and now pushing the pace. Now looking for, uh, that's number 91, that's uh, Solivel. Yeah. Yes, Solivel doing his job right there. He's a plain, simple facilitator, but effective and efficient on the floor. He's the main point guard of Brokenshire. By the way, he plays heavy minutes for Coach Rojas because he sees the floor not he sees the floor differently. Napakagaling na floor general and space maker. Neto Solivel. And as we take a look at the power dime of the quarter, Mulasa Torre Franca banana trading. What a pass from uh, Solivel, able to spot the open Joshua Bargayo for the easy two. So now the line is number 41, that's Christian Nebria. At uh, pasok yung una free throw para kang Christian Nebria for Coach Cholo. Alongside his assistant, Michael Lorejo. So, uh, Christian Ibria will try to sink the second. Sobrang tira. And rebound secured by Evangelista. So, their main court general, that's uh, uh, Solivel, BB guy. Planas for three. Yes! Yes, big shot by Planas. Three points. Oh, that was a big three and great recognition on that dribble drive action, creating the space that Planas need to hit that one. So, yan yung unang three point shot mula kang Planas. Mikawa skips the corner. Doug Pin, gusto makabawi. Yes. Make this. And there's the up ahead pass. Bargayo for two. That was a beautiful pass also. And an even better finish from Joshua Bargayo. But before that play, you can see the scrambling defense of Brokenshire contesting Doug Pin on the corner. And that leads to the fast break of Brokenshire. And we'll take a break. And before that, there's that power play of the quarter brought to you by June Flores. There's that uh, fast break play leading to Joshua Bargayo's easy two. J Project Clothing Shop has been a sublimation company for a long time. We have evolved by proving quality and top-notch products for our customers. The design jerseys are carefully examined and printed in a quality machine that produces a fast printing, the biggest machine in the printing industry. In the sewing section, all the sewing experts use quality tread, middles and machine to make the product good looking and durable. We customize clothing and sportswear in full sublimation. What are you waiting? Visit us now.
Okay, so uh, back to the live action. So, uh, Ronald, meron tayo, pasalamatan natin ulit ating mga sponsors for uh, this tournament. Mm -hmm. This game would not be possible without the help of our sponsors. Especially J, Project Clothing of Mr. Vicente Linogon Jr. The city government of Tagum headed by the Honorable Mayor Ray T. Uy. The City Sports Development Office. Tore Franca Banana Trading. Star Print Graphics. And Mr. June Flores. So great team effort na pinakita dito sa sec uh, first quarter ng uh, Broken Shire College as Ron Carrion able to hit the shot after the timeout. Beautiful tip in by Carrion to stop the bleeding for for the guys in white and a steal by Hikaru Mikawa. Ali, you play Ron Carrion with an easy two for four straight points. Malakang uh, Ron Carrion after that timeout. Malakang Coach Cholo. Loose ball and looks like a foul against Solivel, I believe. Yes, great hustle by Carrion to steal that ball after the timeout. Carrion creating. Plenty of chances for his team. As we take a look at the power move of the quarter, brought to you by J Project Loading Shop. So, quick four points after that timeout. Uh, dalawa na lang ang deficit ng Holy Cross of Davao College. Bibigay kang Hikaru Mikao hit that uh, three point shot moments ago. Babalik ang Ron Carion, who has been the scoring machine in his first half. Drives inside and we're tied at 26. Wow, 6-0 personal run. Para dito kay Carrion carrying the load of his team. Planas on the step back. Uy, hindi makabawi doon. Wala kang planas. And now they're looking to go to Carrion again. He, ha he has the hat hand. Mabalik ang Carrion, swings it over. Jolex Pandili. Hits the three. And that was assisted by Carrion. Nine points created possibly by Carrion. Three straight basket plus that assist to that three-point shot. You know, that shot was created because all eyes looking at Carrion to take the drive. But he simply kicked it out. And Jonix Mandili making them pay for that three. So excellent production. Pinakita ni Ron Carrion in the second quarter. Much to the delight of Coach Cholo. Yes, Coach Cholo... Ilihino on the sidelines, really delighted by what he is seeing from Ron Carrion. Bargayo, bibigay sa loob. Balik kang Bargayo. Now here comes Lauden off the bench for Coach Arnulfo Rojas. There's a quick pull-up. That was well contested by Layagin and Ebria. But good clean-up job by De Moral. But, that's right. Yes, De Moral again doing the dirty work inside, getting that offensive rebound and that putback. Against the heavy defense of Holy Cross that time. Babalik ang Pandili. On a quick fadeaway, short. And rebound, here comes uh, Joshua Bargayo up ahead. Almost a block attempt by Pandili, pero may contact and foul against Jolex Pandili. Wow, what athleticism Pandili has displayed on that fly. Almost getting the clean chase down block like Lebron. Ito si Jonix Pandili but Joshua Bargayo created that contact oh. leading him to shoot two free throws from the line today tonight. So So once again, once again Joshua Bargayo uh, giving some uh, scoring production for coach Arnulfo Rojas in this lang una. So Kelly Demolal uh, Joshua Bargayo uh, making a good scoring contribution mula kang coach uh, for coach Arnulfo Rojas at ng broken share of college servants in this first half. So meron po tayong 3 minutes and 51 seconds to play dito sa ating first half. Uh, tabla na po tayo once again at 29 apiece. Nasa kamay ko ni Jolex Pandili. DJ Gamboa from the left side hits the 3. Yes, Dan James Gamboa with that swish. He's the captain of this team, by the way. And you know, you can rely on him anytime. He's not just a playmaker, but also can create his own shot. At nakabawi doon si RTL for Broken Shire. Oh, RTL for Broken Shire. He's a three-point specialist, but that time was able to drive on the cup and gets a two. Oy, na offensive foul ata against Holy Cross. And that would be against Christian Nebria. Yes, itong si Nebria parang nadulas ata siya doon. That was, I think... Not intentional, to say the least. He was just trying 
to pick up or to set a screen, but I think his feet got tangled and leading to that charge na offensive foul pa. Parang madulas yata doon ah. Oo. Dahil mainit talaga ang labanan dito as Pearson hits the baseline jump shot. So abante na ng isa ang broken shot. And looking like the same story as the second game, Kuya Ray. Si Subatel, masiyasaksiyan ba natin? Another nail-biting ending to this one. Grabe, dikitan talaga ang laban dito. Parehas ng second game kanina. Minti sinitiran mo lang kang layagin. Good contest defensively for Broken Char. At nasa kamay yun ni Demesinio. Looking to Artil. Looking for some friends. Bibigay, Pearson. Now looking on the outside. Artil sets for three. Minti Sintira. Wala well, bigyan a good hustle play. Mula kang Jolex Pandili. Tinan natin. Um, the referees are trying to confirm if that was last touched by the green shirts at uh, mapupunta doon sa Holy Cross. So, meron po tayong dalawat kalahating minuto na natitira dito sa ating first half. And now, Broken Shire on their 1-3-1 zone defense trying to protect the inside area of Holy Cross knowing they have the size advantage. And Jolix Pandili down the baseline. Almost lost it. And look at that successful Kuya Ray, yung 1-3-1 ng Broken Shire. They were trying to protect the paint as they as Holy Cross are also trying to attack the basket. And that leads to a turnover for the, white, for the guys in white. So, well-executed play defensively for uh, Broken Shire, forcing the turnover. Pearson has it. We have uh, under two minutes to play dito sa ating first half. Oy! Medyo napalakas yung pasa mula kang Artil. Mm, miscue right there for both of the teams, for both of the players. So, abante na po ng isa ang Broken Shire College of Davao Servants, 33-32. J Project Clothing Shop has been a sublimation company for a long time. We have evolved by proving quality and top-notch products for our customers. The design jerseys are carefully examined and printed in a quality machine that produces a fast printing, the biggest machine in the printing industry. In the sewing section, all the sewing experts use quality tread, needles and machine to make the product good-looking and durable. We customize clothing and sportswear in full sublimation. What are you waiting? Visit us now. So Coach Arnulfo Rojas and the boys of Broken Shire College looking to finish strong. And on the other side for uh, the white shirts of Holy Cross. So looking to make a good statement here heading into halftime. Joel Expandili looking inside, intercepted. Here comes De Moral. Now on the push, no look pass. De Mesilio. Oy, Minti Sintira. Great defense anyway for Broken Shire having that quick hands to intercept that entry pass. Oh, and now a 3-2 zone <laughs> by Broken Shire. Now they're mixing up their zone defense. Carion, bibigay sa kanto. Three-point shot. Oy, kapos lang. Mula kang... Uh, Good that's... gamble. Para dito sa Broken Shire, leaving the three-point area open to protect the paint. Demoral hits a three! At yan yung unang three-point shot. Mula kang Demoral. Mm, before, after that shot, hindi pa pumasok yung tira. Uh, his teammates knew that it was going in. He, they trusting. The guts and the stroke of De Moral. So that was actually a long two mula kang Kelly De Morel, according to the referees. So it's now 35-32 in favor of Brokenshire College servants. And now a much higher scoring affair for both of the teams. Pandili, bibigay kang Ron Carion, has been the scoring uh, machine in this first half. Deles, bibigay sa labas kang Carion. Swings the pass to Layagen, open three, right at the buzzer. Beautiful pick and pop action for Holy Cross on that one. Zagging the defense of Broken Shire to create that open three. Babawi kaya si Bargayo and he does! Joshua Bargayo for a big three. That was just a simple plain pass and Holy Cross just caught sleeping. 
on the three-point area defense. So four seconds separating the shot clock and the game clock at the, at the end of the first half. Babalikan Don James Gaboa with 10 seconds. Bibigay kang layagin. Atake sa loob and he does. Beautiful recognition by Gamboa to feed his open man. But there's only three seconds left. I think they're not aware. Carion. And couldn't get the shot to go at the end of the first half. So definitely a seesaw battle na nakita natin sa magitan ng broken shard at ng Holy Cross. As Just we take the last game. As we take a look at the second quarter highlights brought to you by J Project Loading Shop. Quality performance, quality uniforms. So Planas leading the charge for Broken Shire and Solivel making some solid uh, assists throughout the second quarter. Pero uh, it has been a very tight ball game so far for Team uh, Broken Shire College of Davao Servants at ng Holy Cross of Davao. So at the end of the first half, Broken Shire College of Sir uh, Davao Servants up by one, 38-37. J Project Clothing Shop sponsored Pila Penis Super League All-Star 2023. We first lay out the desirable design of what customer want in Jersey. Our graphic designer is creative to create ideas. After the customer accepts the design, the design jerseys are carefully examined and printed in a quality machine that produces a fast printing, the biggest machine in the printing industry. After printing it will fit to the heat press so that the print will be transferred to a premium polydex fabric. After it is transferred, our monitoring team will check the product and deliver it to the sewing section. In the sewing section, all the sewing experts use quality tread, needles, and machine to make the product good-looking and durable after the product is finished. Additionally, we choose the best fabric for our jersey with care and each fabric stretches differently. There's stretch percentage and then there's returnability. The stretch percentage tells you how much a certain fabric has the ability to stretch, and the returnability tells you how much the fabric can return to its original length. Our jersey usually has a good stretch percentage and a good returnability. When we sew in garments in jersey fabric, we have different techniques and stitches, depending on the desired finish. And our sewing machine operator are have sound knowledge of the various measuring and marking tools so as to enable one to stitch a garment that fits well. check thoroughly if there is any damage or ready to pack. After the product check now it will go to in our packing area. It is ready to use now. J-Project Clothing Shop has been a sublimation company for a long time. We have evolved by proving quality and top-notch products for our customers. The design jerseys are carefully examined and printed in a quality machine that produces a fast printing, the biggest machine in the printing industry. 
In the sewing section, all the sewing experts use quality tread, middles and machine to make the product good-looking and durable. We customize clothing and sportswear in full sublimation. What are you waiting? Visit us now. J Project Clothing Shop has been a sublimation company for a long time. We have evolved by proving quality and top-notch products for our customers. The design jerseys are carefully examined and printed in a quality machine that produces a fast printing, the biggest machine in the printing industry. In the sewing section, all the sewing experts use quality tread, middles and machine to make the product good-looking and durable. We customize clothing and sportswear in full sublimation. What are you waiting? Visit us now. And back to live action dito po sa Rotary Gym dito sa Tagum City, Davao del Norte. As we take a look at our halftime score, Brokenshire College of Davao Servants with a one-point lead over the Holy Cross of Davao College uh, Crusaders. So once again, ako po si Ray Alon Sagay, kasama ko po si Ron Japit Mena as the third quarter is now underway. So medyo dikita talaga ang labanan dito. Pares yung uh, second game kanina. Layagin has it. Trying to go to the alley you pass at him. That was too Good high. catch by Lorne Carrion for two. And Carrion really doing a lot of loads for Holy Cross. The Crusaders now up by one, courtesy of Carrion. So patuloy pa rin yung scoring barrage malakang Carrion since the first half. On his way to be the best player of the game if Holy Cross wins. At nakabawi doon si Evangelista. And it's the short shot from the baseline. So it's now 40-39 in favor of Brokenshire. Mm, ito si Evangelista, he's really developing his outside shooting last season. Parang nangangapa pa yung outside shooting nitong big man ng, hol, ng Brokenshire. Layagin for three, he's short. Uh, rebound for uh, Molina uh, off the bench for coach uh, Arnulfo Rojas. Making his entry. Trying to go on the inside pass. Oh, Minti Sintira. That Little was cut by Bargallo, everything but the shot. And that was stolen away by Bargayo though. Trying to go on the penetration, kick out, and Bargayo from, from the beautiful, corner of the key. Beautiful stroke by Joshua Bargayo, but an even better feed from Stulivel, recognizing the capability of uh, Bargayo to create that shot. Oy, that was a soy turnover, yes. Mulakang Ron Carrion. Men lack of mental awareness para dito kay Carrion. And look at Coach Cholo Elohino upset on the sidelines. Oh, hindi, hindi siya, hindi natuwa yung, hindi, hindi natuwa doon si uh, Coach Cholo on that uh, turnover. Nasa uh, kamayin ko ni uh, Molina, hounded. And there's a foul spotted. That will be against Garel Layagin. Silly foul for Layagin. No need to rush on that defensive sequence. Para dito sa HDC. So that's the second personal foul para kang Garel Layagin. So uh, Broken Shire with the, with the hands of Solivel. Trying to go Ali, you pass it to him. Evangelista, wild shot. And look, lo loose ball still has it for the green shirts. Shot clock, three seconds. Evangelista right at the buzzer. Yes, great awareness by Evangelista. To be the first uh, to get the ball. And now, five points now. Lamang ng Broken Shire. Evangelista, that is fourth. That is second basket here in this Boy, period. stolen by Solivel. Taking coast to coast for the layup. Seems like Broken Shire are now having the advantage or the adjustments that they need to pull away from this ball game. Coach Ray Rojas on the sideline, really? Setting the tone for this team in this quarter. So, buwabuelo na ata itong uh, Broken Shire in this third quarter. Pero may sagot pa rin. Itong Holy Cross, ayaw. Magpaka magpakapaawat, ayaw. Pumayag na basta-basta na lang matatapos ang game na ito. As we take a look at the power play of the quarter, brought to you by June Flores. The nice ball by Mulakam Francis Dagpin. Carion trying to swing past the open shot. Gamboa short. And here comes Planas on the open floor. Fast break opportunity and scores. Just took it all the way to the cup. Is Planas on the open floor. He's excelling really well. We look at that wide frame body. He can use it oh. on his advantage. 
Nice play there. Malakam Planas to extend a seven point lead. Para sa Broken Shire. Ron Carion, what a spin move and scores. Napaka athletic talaga. Netong si RJ Carion. That time, escaping away from the defense using that quick spin move to get away and create the separation he needs for the two. Asa kamay ni Molina off the bench for, Roja, for Coach Rojas. Solivel, hesitation, splits the defense. Oh, lost the ball there. Here comes Ron Corrigan on the open floor and the easy two. Very, very quick. But Broken Shark could have just let it get out of bounds instead of saving it and creating the fast break for Holy Cross. Another miss. Wala sa Broken Shark. DJ G Dan James Gamboa. Spin move in this. And Molina now has the basketball for the Green Shirts. Now against Gamboa. Planas swings to Solivel from the open jump shot. Good shot though, that was open. And rebound secured by Holy Cross. That's coming the RJ Carion. Carion going to work. And there's a non shooting foul against Brokenshire. Foul on the As we take a look at the power play of the quarter, brought to you by June Flores. Nice spin move for the basket. Molaka Ron Carion. Beautiful move by RJ Carion. Don sa play na yon. And we would like also to greet our live viewers. Happy watching. And to all our J Project super fans, thank you for watching. Special out, shout out now to this Heavenlink Speedsters team who's watching all the way from Panabo City. So, mayang gabi sa ato mga audience diha. We can dress sa Davo region. Doug Pin for three. And good rebound. And a basket and a foul. Bolakan Jolex Pandili. And he has the chance to tie the ball game. That's what Jonex Pandili needs to do instead of forcing shots from the outside or the perimeter. Needs to attack the basket closer to where it is and creating chances for his team. And I think Jonex Pandili already knew what he needs to adjust in this half. At pasok yung uh, three-point play for Jolex Pandili at tabla na po tayo at 48 apiece. Quick counter para dito sa HCDC after that quick, after that mini run na ginawa ng Broken Shire. And now, this hits the mid-range. Mm -hmm. Ito si Planas, parang if manalo ang Broken Shire dito, he could be the player of the game. Really standing out and doing lot of, lots of damage inside. Uy, libre sila yagin, mintis yung tira. Nagkata sana ng play na yun, Kuya Ray. Oo. Medyo unexpected doon for Layagin. Planas. Hesitation. Flyby. Uy! Blocked by Holy Cross. Nahuli pa sa likod. Itong si Planas. And that is leading Holy Cross to a charge now. Lazy pass from Layagin. But a counter steal by Nebria. Oh, that was just number 31. There's a stoppage of play. There's a whistle and a foul as we take a look at the power dime of the quarter. Brought to you by Torre Franca Banana Trading. Nice pass there for Brokenshire, leading to an open jump shot. Brokenshire. And now seven seconds na lang na titira. Boy, stepping ata mula ka Mikawa. So that means a turnover for Holy Cross. So, dalawa lang ang abante ng Broken Shire. Siso and back and forth action ang ating nasasaksihan dito sa loob ng Rotary Gymnasium. Bargayo. No look pass. Intercepted by Colihara. Now off the bench for Coach Solo. And a counter steal for Broken Shire. De Moral. Bibigay. Kobe Kiawan. Uy, traveling violation against Kobe. Clear traveling violation for Kobe Kiawan. Napakalaki ng first step na yon to be as good as it is. Travel nga. Itong tawag ng ating referee. So we're under four minutes to play dito sa ating third quarter. So a very tight race sa bagita ng Holy Cross at ng Broken Shire. And there's another steal there for Broken Shire. Quick hands para kay Demoral. And now Laurden being hounded from the backcourt. Bibigay kang Kobe Kiawan. Plenty of, plenty of time on the shot clock with 12 to shoot. Down to 10 seconds. 
Trying to go baseline. Down to five. Kiawan, what's he going to do with three seconds? And Kiawan was hacked and fouled. And Fe he'll, he'll take two free throws. Fearless drive for the little man of Broken Shire. Challenging the big man of Holy Cross. And he was successful on his attempt. Catching the foul for Holy Cross's big man. And Kobe Kiawan will shoot two. And the last foul was from Christian Damaso, number 31, with the uh, personal foul. So, pasok yung unang free throw, mula kang Kobe Kiawan. So, here comes the second free throw for Kobe. Makes it. So, apat na, abante, ng Broken Shire. Mm -hmm. it's a, it has been the story of the ball game. Someone tries to pull away, but the other team tries to get back on track. So pretty much a very uh, pretty much a grind out ball game sa pagitan mm -hmm. ng dalawang koponan no. Pandili on the cut. Nice pass mula kang Alvin Kolehara. Yes, exactly. Beautiful player movement. John X Pandili with that cut and Kolehara with the recognition for Holy Cross but there goes the counter for a broken shot and Artil feeding the morale for the two. So able to break through the, the pressure defense of Holy Cross, mm -hmm. able to spot the easy two That's for the morale. That's uh, the risk you have to gamble if you're playing the press defense. Someone's getting open on the other side of the court. And a stop and pop for Laurden. Mm -hmm. At ito na po, anin na po ang abante ng Broken Shire College of Davao Servants. Mm -hmm. Laurden making things happen for Broken Shire. Hailing from Panabo City, itong si Clint Laurden. So taking a look at uh, Coach Sholo, major concern now. And for Coach Arnulfo Lojas, uh, he's looking forward to a uh, good ball game heading into the fourth. Kolihara. Bibi guy can DJ Gamboa inside. Damaso blocked. Pero good hustle there for Holy Cross. Damaso with four to shoot. Reverse layup is good. Great use of the body by the big man Damaso. That was deep to get a hold of it. But Damaso makes it, however. Kiawan has it and an easy basket. For Joshua Bargayo and a foul. Bad break for Holy Cross. They already got the steal. But Kolehara was... He, he got slipped. Receiving the ball. And the ball ends up into the hands of Broken Shire. Getting ahead of the, on the fast break. And the end one is the result of that one. So it's now a two-possession lead. Anim na po ang kalamangan ng uh, Broken Shire College of Davao Servants. Led by head coach Arnufo Rojas. So Joshua Bargayo with a good scoring production throughout the ball game and makes the free throw. So we're under two minutes to play Dito sa ating fourth quarter. So it's now a seven point lead. And this could be the largest lead of the ball game for Broken Shire. Yes, Broken Shire. Ka, uh, Alvin Kolehara. Joel Expandili has it. Ano kayang gagawin dito for Holy Cross on that possession? Gamboa, lob pass. Uy! Di ba sa loob doon? Pero good hustle there by Mikawa. Want to shoot! Naputukan ng 24! Beautiful defense on the part of Broken Shire scrambling to get a hold of the ball. Napakaganda ng rotation na pinakita ng mga naka-green doon. And now, they are getting a chance to extend the lead to double digit with a 3. So, Clint Larden has it. So now against Alvin Kolehara on the ISO play. Lauden going to work. No look pass. Kiyawan was fouled. Nice connection and a nice one-on-one -on -one play by Clint Lauden getting away from the defense and the cut by Kiyawan. Alam ni Lauden kung saan yung teammate niya. Alam niya kung sino yung kakat. And that needs no introduction. That is pure chemistry between Kiyawan and Lauden on that sequence. So that was a great basketball even though hindi naipasok yung layup. Wala kang Kiyawan. So that's a good team chemistry doon. Mm. Kinakita ni uh, ng yes. Davao Broken Shire. Lauren didn't even bother to look at who is who on his side. Talagang alam niya that there will be someone catching his pass. So Kayawan with second free throw gets the roll. So ito na po ang pinakamalaking kalamangan for Broken Shire. Nine point lead. Holy Cross having some breakdowns late here in the third. And someone needs to finish strong to keep it intact and have a chance to win this ballgame. Damaso backs it home. 
So good fundamental move mula kang Damaso. Back to back buckets for the big man Damaso. And earlier he got a reverse layup. And right now, and the the last play he just bulldozes his way inside using his frame. And, pero may tawag ang ating referee that puts Holy that puts Brokenshire under penalty. Oh, that's not a good foul there for Holy Cross. Kasi penalty na for Holy Cross. As Kiyawan six the first to make it 62-54 in favor of Brokenshire. So, maganda yung uh, scoring production also for Kobe Kiyawan uh, late in this uh, third quarter. And 2-4-2 two two from the line. Back to a nine-point lead. So, meron po tayong 45 seconds to play dito sa ating third quarter. Almost an interception. Tandili has it. Mikawa looking to Gamboa, looking for an open teammate. Kolehara back to the corner. Pandili short on the three point attempt and skying high for the rebound is Kobe Kiawan. Yes, beautiful zone defense. 3 2 zone was the hard show of Brokenshire on that last sequence. Pero naagawan. Ito si Laurden. Gamboa on the run. So we're down to 15 seconds to play. It's a third quarter. Kolehara, BB guy. Ikaru Mikawa for three. Big shot by Mikawa to keep them within striking distance to end the third. We're down to two seconds, down to one. And that could be the end of the third quarter. Big shot to bail out the shot clock, the game clock. And to keep them within striking distance for Mikawa. Atin na natin ating third quarter highlights brought to you by J Project Clothing Shop. Quality performance, quality uniforms. So Planas going to work and also that's uh, number 91 uh, Lenel Solivel going to work also for Brokenshire. Excellent production uh, mula sa backcourt ng uh, Brokenshire in this third quarter. So still a very close race as uh, RJ Carrion and his troops of Holy Cross trying to make a good run, a good scoring momentum into this fourth quarter. So Brokenshire College of Davao Servants end this third quarter with a 63-57 advantage. J Project Clothing Shop has been a sublimation company for a long time. We have evolved by proving quality and top-notch products for our customers. The design jerseys are carefully examined and printed in a quality machine that produces a fast printing, the biggest machine in the printing industry. In the sewing section, all the sewing experts use quality tread, middles and machine to make the product good-looking and durable. We customize clothing and sportswear in full sublimation. What are you waiting? Visit us now. And we are now about to start the last and final period at this game in this last fourth and this last period. I have it's and own and J Project Clothing. Makers of quality uniform. The city government of Tagum and the city sports development office. Turi Franca Banana Trading. Star Print Graphics. The city sports development office. And Mr. June Flores. So, maravis lava po sa ating mga sponsors and also to the people behind. The J Project 21 Under yes. Basketball Cup Season 2. So, maraming maraming salamat po at mabuhay po kayo. Yes, especially to our boss, Sir June Linogon, who's watching this game from his home. DJ Gamboa, short. Oy, what a rebound by Carrion. Pero good hustle there by Brokenshire. O ito, si uh, El on the push. Minti mm -hmm. This is still far from over Cuyarea, no? Still, plenty of basketball left with nine minutes. Uh, Kakasimula pa lang ng fourth period. Pero anim lang, anim lang in habol ng Holy Cross. They still need to push, they need to push the pace. They need to dictate the tempo of this ball game in order for them to come back and get a chance to win this ball game. So for Holy Cross, they need to make some uh, good offensive executions and mm. make some defensive stops also if yes. they want to seal another victory in their campaign. Mm. Also limit their turnovers because turnovers are momentum killers and you wouldn't get nowhere to victory if you turn the ball often. And good hustle play there by Brokenshire, saving the possession, Edoliantes. Oh, he lost it. 
And looks like there's a whistle and a foul against Holy Cross. I actually, that's a... That was a kickball against Holy Cross. So, ball will stay with Brokenshire with 14 to shoot. So, Edoliantes, nasa bola ngayon against uh, RJ Carion. Edoliantes plays the defender and there's a foul against Carion. So it's now 63-57, still in favor of Brokenshire. Chance for Brokenshire to extend the lead in this possession. So Livelle will handle things now. De Moral short, loose ball, and De Moral has it. Edoliantes, Bibigay Sacanto, De Moral, trying to go on the skip pass. Red Nail, so Livelle, short on the three. And Pandili now on the push for Holy Cross. Gamboa swings it to the corner. Gamboa blocked. Balikang Jolex Pandili. And a traveling against Jolex Pandili. Great challenge by Aljim Artel on that sequence. Carrion was trying to get a strong layup to the, to the basket, but he was met by the fearless defense netong si Aljim Artel. Oh, my puso talaga sa depensa itong si uh, Argil Atil. He was no? a much smaller guy oh. going to the challenge, but he won the block anyway. So, that's kay mayo ni uh, Renel Solivel on a quick pull up. Yes! Veterans move for Solivel. Sa Holy Cross defense was uh, dropping on that pick and roll action as. They were aware that someone was cutting towards the basket and Solivel making them pay for that pull-up J. So, Abante na ng Ocho. Ang uh, broken char. Ikaru Mikawa on a quick release. Mintis in tira. Here comes Artil with a basketball for broken char. So, looking to increase their advantage. Renel Solivel has it. Contra kang DJ Gamboa. There's a pick by Ivan Hilisa. So Livelle, BB guy, Evangelista, open jump shot, gets the roll. Simple basketball, two-man game, two-man action, back-to-back -back possession. So Livelle and Evangelista connecting. Ay, ito po ang power dime of the quarter, brought to you by Torre Franca Banana Trading. Nice pass, leading to an Evangelista, easy too. So magbabalik po kami, we'll be right back. J Project Clothing Shop has been a sublimation company for a long time. We have evolved by proving quality and top-notch products for our customers. The design jerseys are carefully examined and printed in a quality machine that produces a fast printing, the biggest machine in the printing industry. In the sewing section, all the sewing experts use quality tread, middles and machine to make the product good-looking and durable. We customize clothing and sportswear in full sublimation. What are you waiting? Visit us now. At balik po tayo sa live action dito po sa Rotary Gymnasium, Tagum City. So the number two seed, the uh, Broken Shark College of Davao Servants looking to uh, secure their position against the number five seed, Holy Cross of Davao College Crusaders. Broken Shark proving why they deserve to be on the second spot of their bracket. Malakas talaga. Etong mga servants. Pandili for three. Oy, that was short. And Artil secures the rebound. Nasa kamay ni De Moral. Kasama niya si Solivel, Artil, Evangelista, at si Edoliantes. Itong broken share, they're showing the more fluid basketball, the more teamwork, and the more na nagpapakita ng talas sa, sa larong ito. And Doug Pin hits a three. Uh, so that's a big shot for Francis Doug Pin. So, balik na po sa siete ang deficit. Oh, he's stolen by Carion. That was a sloppy pass. And Carion, basket and a foul. That's quick hands from defense to offense. Itong si RJ Carion intercepting the basketball. Then going strong to the basket for the end one. Ito ating three-point shot of the quarter mula sa star print graphics. There's that uh, nice soft touch mula kang Francis Dagbin. So we will take a short break. Magbabalik po kami. J Project Clothing Shop has been a sublimation company for a long time. We have evolved by proving quality and top-notch products for our customers. The design jerseys are carefully examined and printed in a quality machine that produces a fast printing, the biggest machine in the printing industry. 
In the sewing section, all the sewing experts use quality tread, middles and machine to make the product good-looking and durable. We customize clothing and sportswear in full sublimation. What are you waiting? Visit us now. So it's now 67-62 in favor of the Brokenshire College of Davos Servants. So uh, just moments ago, sampu po ang abante ng uh, Broken Shire. Pero there was a 5-0 run mm -hmm. for Holy Cross led by Francis Dagpin's 3-point shot. And a 3-point three, three opportunity for Ron Carrion. Yes, itong si Carrion really showing his full potential in this ball game, Carrying a lot of loads para dito sa kanyang team. And great time out earlier by Coach Cholo to stop the bleeding. And now they're on. A quick counter burst. And he gets Oy. his own miss. Good hustle by Carrion. Gets it back. Oh, he rolls out. And ball secured by Brokenshire. Here comes Joshua Bargayo on the transition play. Artil sets, fires. Got it for three. Big shot by Aljon Artil. No hesitation, pulling the trigger from way downtown. And now he extends the lead back to eight. Some breathing space para dito sa mga servants. Oh, oh. Nasa kamay ni Ilayagin kontra kay Evangelista. Oh, good interception. And looks like a foul, I believe. Let's La see. Lanas having to bump the camera and... But four seconds, natitira. Oh, so that was... Mikawa. Dagpin, balik ang Mikawa with two to shoot for three. Layagin. Mintis gets it back. And Mikawa offensive rebound was fouled in shoot two. Plenty of contact and physicality inside on that rebound place. A lot of pushing <laughs> on the blind spot. Para dito sa dalawang team. And... No one gets whistled and gets called for it. Leading up to two free throws, I guess, para kay Hikaru Mikawa. Oh, oh. so that means two free throws for uh, Hikaru Mikawa. So trying to uh, cut the deficit and sinks the first. So still uh, a tight race sa pagitan ng uh, Holy Cross of Davao College at ng Brokenshire College of Davao Servants. So, Brokenshire College looking to seal the number two seed in this tournament. At babalik sa laro si uh, Kelly De Moral once again. Big free throws para kay Mikawa doon. They needed that one. So, Planas now has it. Contra kang Ron Carrion. Planas able to break through. Takes it inside. Extra pass to uh, Bargallo. Bargallo. Plenty of time with the shot clock with 12 to shoot. Inside. The Moral. Extra pass. Oi! Nawala yung bola. Scrambling defense. Para sa Holy Cross. Oh! And Mikawa was slipped. For slipped. Ito si Mikawa. And that was a big chance to cut the lead to four. Oh. Para dito kay Mikawa. But he slipped on that play. Pero nadulas doon. Tama yun, nadulas doon si Mikawa on that fast break opportunity. Yes, besides that, he wasn't aware where he was. Nakatingin na kasi siya agad sa ring before that, before he catched the ball. So meron po tayong five minutes to play dito sa ating fourth and final quarter. Planas, short, and uh, Carillon secures the board. Defensive stop dito para sa Crusaders. Chance. Ah. To cut the lead. Look at Carrion sprinting towards the court. He misses the shot. Mintis na yung tira mula kang Ron Carrion. Oy, stolen away. Dagpin has it. Carrion going to work. Misses again from point blank range. Carrion needs to slow down. He can do it all. Rene He's Solivel. logical and rational in this clutch moment. Bargayo hits the big shot. And speaking of rational and logical, Bargayo doing the right thing on that sequence. Pulling the jumper, he knows he can hit that, and he makes them pay. So it's now an eight-point lead para sa Brokenshire. Good heads up play defensively para kang uh, Planas. Able to stop the easy basket mula kang Pandili. 
So, babalik sa laro si Alvin Kolehara. So, uh, ito si Kolehara, one of the sharp shooters also for Holy Cross. He's a very tall and big shooter for his position. And now he needs to show what he's got. Especially, oh. naghahabol sila ng walo. And time not on their side. Oh. Needs so, to step up big here. So, kasama ni uh, Alvin Kolehara, si Mikawa, Dagpin, Pandili, at Silayagin for uh, Holy Cross. So, meron po tayong apat na minuto at labing dalawang segundo na titira sa ating laro. So, both teams, uh, they're, try they're trying their best to uh, secure the positions or even, uh, you know, move their rankings up heading to the next round. Yes, Kuya Re. And now, some wiping and mopping. Oh, kasi meron. Maraming kasi mga basang spa sa ating yes. basketball floor dahil sa grabing uh, competitiveness na nakita natin dito. Yes, exactly. But the show must go on despite these challenges. Inbound pass to, La to uh, Layagin. Reverse layup is good. Quick move, veteran. One for Layagin. Hooking up the, the back of his defender with a reverse layup. Making it happen from the baseline is Tong si Layagin. Solivel, big three. Oy, air ball. That's and a big miss, Malakang Solivel. The size and the length of Holy Cross forcing Solivel to be pressured and take that shot. And now, balik sa Crusaders ang bola. And 1-3-1 one, one, ang pinapakita ng Broken Shire dito. Oy, Pandili almost lost it. Get successful for it. There is the three. Pandili gets a three. And it's now a three-point game. Mula kang Jolix Pandili. Wow. And that's the risk that Broken Shire is allowing having field, having to field that 1-3-1 one, one zone. And it's now a one-point game. A 5-0 run. Mula kang Jolix Pandili. And Pandili is hyped up going back to his bench. So tatawag muna ng timeout ang Broken Shire. J Project Clothing Shop has been a sublimation company for a long time. We have evolved by proving quality and top-notch products for our customers. The design jerseys are carefully examined and printed in a quality machine that produces a fast printing, the biggest machine in the printing industry. In the sewing section, all the sewing experts use quality tread, needles and machine to make the product good-looking and durable. We customize clothing and sportswear in full sublimation. What are you waiting? Visit us now. At balik sa live action dito po sa Tagum City, Davao del Norte. As uh, Coach Cholo and his troops are trying to seal another victory. Dito sa J Project 21 Under Basketball Cup Season number 2 against the Broken Shire College of Davao. So meron po tayong tatlong minuto at dalawampung segundo na titira sa ating ball game. So, Broken Shire, tingnan natin kung ano, ano, kaya, ano kaya kanila execution dito after this timeout. Great bounce back para dito sa Holy Cross as they were looking to... What a play from Planas! Able to break through the long arms of the defense of Holy Cross for the easy two. Pamatay sunog para doon kay Planas, extending the lead to three. Layagin, no! What a rebound from Joshua Bargayo! And now Broken Shire will slow things down. They have the time, time on their side, but this is just a three-point ball game. Plenty of basketball can happen within this frame. And looks like there is a foul against Layagin. So both teams now with uh, three team fouls respectively. Two team fouls to give before the penalty. Tamayan, tamayan. So. Pero po tayong dalawat kalahating minuto na titira sa ating ballgame. Solivel almost lost it. Got it back. Nasa kamay ni Planas. Bargayo with 7 seconds. Solivel with 5 to shoot. Artil for a 3. Oh, short. Ball is loose. And Broken Shire has it. Bad break for the Crusaders. Don't look pass to Demoral. Beautiful handoff. Para kay Demoral and a better, but a better feed coming from Bargayo on that drive, giving it to the open Demoral. 1-3-1 one, one for Broken Shire. Dolex Pandili hits a three. Artel has it. 
I, I, I think Brock and Shire needs to stop that 1-3-1. One, one. That's the second time that they've given up an open three because of their zone defense. They can have a man-to-man -man defense next time if they don't want to get open shots from the outside for Holy Cross. So we're under two minutes to play remaining the ball game. Planas gets away. Demoral again! Back-to-back -back basket. Mula kang Demoral. At tawag muna ng timeout si Coach Sholo Elihino. So we'll take a short break at magbabalik po kami as Broken Char up by four. J Project Clothing Shop has been a sublimation company for a long time. We have evolved by proving quality and top-notch products for our customers. The design jerseys are carefully examined and printed in a quality machine that produces a fast printing, the biggest machine in the printing industry. In the sewing section, all the sewing experts use quality tread, middles and machine to make the product good-looking and durable. We customize clothing and sportswear in full sublimation. What are you waiting? Visit us now. Okay, balik po tayo sa live action as Arnold Foroas and the troops of Brokenshire looking to seal the victory. Pero I would say, mangganda yung mga execution at crunch time itong Brokenshire. Yes, exactly. Having Coach Rojas on your sideline, on your bench, he's been in the business for over... Ilan na ba? He, he's already coaching since the 80s, so he knows what to do in this kind of situation. Defensively and offensively, Coach Rojas will lead you to victory. So, itong uh, Holy Cross naman, ano kayang dapat na gagawing strategy dito for mm. Coach uh, Cholo? They have to make this uh, possession counts. Uh, I'm sure Coach Cholo Elihino had drawn up a play for that would best benefit them. And also, they, they need to have the defensive stop on the other side of the court. Manili. Bibigay ka Mikawa. They need to attack the basket. Dug or... pin for three. Short. And Ayagin secures the board for the white shirts. Kolihara sets, fires, out, in and out. And big rebound. I think for Holy Cross rushed the shot too much. They could have just attacked the basket. They don't need a three at this moment. Malayo pa naman. They could have just made a, a drive towards the basket, get a two or get some foul. Uh, but they chose the three. That was a bad break for them. Artil. Planas, extra pass, Bargayo, dagger! What a shot from yes, Joshua Bargayo! Exactly, how do you describe that clutch and eyes on his veins? Could have That shot could have just sealed the deal for Broken Shire as we have a timeout. At magbabalik po kami. J Project Clothing Shop has been a sublimation company for a long time. We have evolved by proving quality and top-notch products for our customers. The design jerseys are carefully examined and printed in a quality machine that produces a fast printing, the biggest machine in the printing industry. In the sewing section, all the sewing experts use quality tread, middles and machine to make the product good-looking and durable. We customize clothing and sportswear in full sublimation. What are you waiting? Visit us now. And we're heading into the last 64 seconds of the ball game. Shete na po ang abante ng Broken Shire College of Davao Servants. Led by the head coach, Arnu Foroas, at, and also his assistant, Coach Rodney Buslot. What a big dagger three. Mula kang Joshua Bargayo. Yes, Joshua Bargayo. The previous player of the game para sa Broken Shire. Stepping up big here. In the clutch moments, eyes on his veins. But that was a beautiful extra feed from Planas on the corner to the wing. And Bargayo making them pay. Great execution para sa mga servants. So wala na pong timeout ang Holy Cross. Layagin way off. Again, poor sh shot selection for Holy Cross. No need for a three right there. And Arteos looks like they're about to seal the victory for Broken Char. Too late. Para sa Holy Cross, they... Dug pain for the three. Another and sorry miss. That rush three-pointer. Kanina pa yan, they could have just uh, opted for a quick two or a simple two earlier. And now, that is leading them to destruction. And Demoral seals it. 
For the Broken Shark, College of Davao Servants. What a crucial win for the Servants of Broken Shark. Keeping them on the second spot just behind break Breakthrough Basketball. And we will see this Broken Shark surely will advance to the next round. They or most likely would advance to the next round. What a win for the Broken Shark College of Davao Servants as they win it. 85-74 over the Holy Cross of Davao College Crusaders. What a crucial victory for the green shirts of Broken Shark College of Davao. Thanks to their excellent backcourt performance. Tina natin ating fourth quarter highlights. Brought to you by J Project Loading Shop. Quality performance, quality uniforms. So once again, the guards of, Holy, of uh, the Broken Shark College of Davao stepping up big time especially in the fourth quarter so a flurry of big shots ang pinakita dito ng Broken Shark College of Davao at crunch time Malakang Artil and of course Joshua Bargayo who hit that dagger three to seal the crucial victory for the Broken Shark College of Davao servants So the Broken Shire College of Davao Servants will go to 3-1. and one. And they're trying to seal the number two seeds of Bracket B. Ng Yon J Project 21 Under Basketball Cup Season number 2. So here's our final score once again. The Broken Shire College of Davao Servants 85 and the Holy Cross of Davos, Davao Crusaders 74. What a crucial victory for Broken Shire as the Holy Cross of Davao College Crusaders will fall to one and three in their campaign sa bracket B sa J Project 21 Under Basketball Cup Season 2. So, stand po tayo and uh, Ron Japet Bena will interview the best player of the ball game and that will go to Joshua Bargayo. And we have the player of the game this evening for our final game. We have Joshua Bargayo tallying 20 points, 6 assists, 3 rebounds, and 1 steal. So congratulations on your victory. Close game. Kayo ang inyong dula sa Holy Cross from start to finish. And yung sama nyo pag pull away late in the fourth quarter. Thank you so much for my question. Kamot yung mga madayo na mga team sa team, chemistry, na lang. So mas nag-gog yun ang... So, mas nag-gog ang Holy Cross ninyo. Giyon saman ninyo pag... Giyon saman ninyo pag... 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 Pilde ang Holy Cross. Mas nag-gog man sinasin. Ano siya yung game plan laban sa Holy Cross? So, unsa man ang mga i-expect o i-look forward sa inyo ha na masulod naman mo sa sunod na round unsa man i-expect pa na mo sa Holy Cross Salamat mo sa Holy Cross na tagaan nila mga yung dula o kita nga magkita mo sa ah May improve pa mong team o tagapin may chemistry. Mayo. Okay, so shout out, greetings sa tanahin na mong gusto ay batiyon. Shout out sa kung sila sa kong mama, sa mama Gina, sa kong lola, si Lani Diz, sa kong Uyab. Shout out. O sa power house, shout out. So that's our player of the game, Joshua Bargayo with 20 points, 6 assists, 3 rebounds, and 1 steal. And what a victory for the Broken Shark College of Davao Servants and a great performance Malakang Joshua Bargayo who was the best player of the ball game. So marami salamat po sa yung pagsubaybay sa inyong J Project 21 Under Basketball Cup Season number 2. Ako po si Ray Alonsagay and alongside with me is Ron Japit Mena. 
And uh, you can follow our Facebook page at J Project Basketball. We'll see you again tomorrow. And happy araw ng Davao del Norte.